Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to some more Bloodborne. Picking up in Yargul's Unseen Village again, with uh, these horrifying monstrosities clinging to all of the buildings. Oh! Oh! Hello! Yep, you're a man with a rifle, shooting at me. That, oh, this is a lot of bad guys. Okay! <laughs> That's an... Hmm. I keep hearing, like, a very odd sound effect uh, occasionally now on a fairly consistent basis. Also, as I get closer to this guy, he appears to do that, which has zero effect on them, but I imagine it would be somewhat unpleasant to me. Let's see if we can't pull these guys. Yeah. No, it just goes right through them. Yeah, that. It's a weird sound. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. And people are behind me. Okay. Let's go ahead and retreat for just a moment. As discretion is definitely the better part of valor here. Alright, and now they had a buddy providing covering fire to them. It hasn't always been making that sound. I would have noticed. It's like every time I kill somebody now, there's like a womb kind of whoosh dubstep thing going on. Oh, and I just got my first chunk. Let's see if there's enough time to scout that out really quick here. Bloodstone chunk. A chunk will never appear in the blood of an ordinary human. Seek deadlier foes if bloodstone chunks are needed. Okay. Whoa, whoa. These guys are spawning right here. Excuse me? Enemies respawn? Is that why they're making this sound? These are not regular Yarnamites. These are something else. Some construction made entirely of blood, perhaps? As they do appear to be covered in it. Yeah, and they don't leave corpses on the ground and they all respond. Okay. What is going on in the Unseen Village, folks? This is certainly adding a new strategic level to everything. Iron Yargul Helm. A uh, bullet to the brain. Okay. Okay. Ah. Our uh, wheelchair nemesis strikes again. Oh, that's not good. All right, knowing what we know now, that, see, these guys aren't covered in blood. Are they? Like, are those real people and then the other things are some sort of constructs just coming out of the ground continuously see like he didn't make that whooshing sound but he did blood echoes retrieved so I'm kind of getting this sense of, like, urgency, I suppose? You know, it no longer becomes a good idea to just stand around and slowly progress. Oh god, almost stepped through that. Because... Lever right there. 
because enemies are constantly spawning just all around me. Oh, device is not operable. Yeah, oh, uh, like that guy even. What? That did so much damage. Although the one in the wheelchair did not do the same sort of uh, noise when killed. So maybe that's not a good indicator? Also nothing has popped back up here. So I guess that at least answers if I don't kill them, it would seem they do not... <laughs> As I was saying, it seems if we don't kill them, they do not, like, continue to multiply, which is probably the best news I've had all day. Uh, on the uh, downside, these guys can basically two-shot me. It feels like I'm back at the start of the game again, where these fairly simple Yarnamite type enemies were a suitable challenge. Alright, and I just gotta sprint through this. There's no other way that this makes sense. Ugh. Between... Oh, man. I can't just keep running forward. Eventually, they're going to catch up. Okay. Whoa. Ah, between the enemies with rifles and the enemies throwing Molotovs, there's basically no room to dilly-dally. Whoa, what are you? You know, let's just not find out. Quicksilver bullets. Did that guy respawn? I believe he did. That was the guy at the bottom of the stairwell with a rifle. He is already back. Interesting sounds being made. Anything tucked over here? Oh man, another path. Whoa, whoa, uh oh. Oh! Maybe the first piece of good news I've had. Those ladies are summoning these guys? Was that what's going on? Like, her? Okay, I killed one here, and there's nothing coming back in this room. The Mensis ritual must be stopped. Lest we all become beasts. Okay. Bolt damp blood gem. It's crescent shaped. I'm not really using anything that takes a crescent gem right now. Okay. So something is summoning these creatures back here every time. Similar to... Well, the, like the catacombs type uh, necromancers in Dark Souls 1. Now I could avoid this path, but maybe I could just find and kill this woman instead. Uh, 
Uh, let's just stay over here and out of the way of our rifling friend. Oh, that was not enough damage to kill him. Oh, come on now. That was almost enough damage to kill me, though. Come on. Aha. Okay, how do I get to her? How do I get to her? Uh, air ruin. Oh, hello. Did she summon everybody back already? Am I missing a door to this cage? There we go. Oh, man up top with a rifle anyway, so... Only makes sense to rush it. Also, hmm, it almost seemed like I stunned him by killing her. Interesting. Still hearing some terrible sounds from up there. Man, this area has been... Oh, yep. He's still around. Let's see if it opens from over here. Great. So I could get right back to here. I'm still hearing the guys from outside, I think. Man. Speaking of frenzied, this place has been just frenetic in the speed at which I suddenly am playing the game. I don't feel like slowing down is a strategy worthwhile. If, you know, guys are getting respawned constantly. Oh, oh, you're not going to be my friends, are you? No. Okay. Oh, oh, that stung a bit more than I hoped. Uh-oh. I think these guys are making the blood summoning sounds when they die, though. Uh, and you're pitching fireballs. I got the trifecta out of you. They seem to have been almost like worshipping at this guy. He's got cuffs on his ankles, pinning him to the chair, and a cage on his head. And the sounds are still coming from somewhere. I uh, was sort of hoping that the uh, the woman with the bell that I had killed nearby here, that she was the source of them. It doesn't seem like I was that lucky. As they are still respawning, which means I need to get out of here. Oh, yep, and you're a friend. Okay, she's down. Is it... Okay, they are... What? What? <laughs> um, excuse me? Laser beam eyeball man. Oh. 
Okay. I like how it's not even on fire, but uh, is still lighting me on fire. Okay, so I don't think that beam did any damage to these ladies, but uh, I certainly don't want to get caught in it. There's just so many of them down here. Alright, we've got an item over here. Another chunk. If we rush in here... Oh my god! Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Let's just leave that behind. Holy crap, man. The tempo of the game has just been cranked up to 11 in very short order. Oh my god, a lantern. Don't think I've ever been happier to see something. Um... Nope, nope, nope. I'm hoping they're finally going to start dropping chunks. Yeah! Okay, okay. Ran out here without much thought to chase that little thing. Oh, yeah, because, you know, he's right here. Uh, so some of them are dangerous. And try to grab me or have laser beam eyeballs that do some terrible thing that sets the ground exploding. And then some of them are just sort of docile hanging out there. Oh, and is this where I was earlier? I do believe it is. But that's not the same enemy. Right? Like, this is the area where the other lantern is. And then right down there used to be one of the kidnappers. But now it appears to be something different. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, with 24,000 blood echoes, let's go ahead and pop back to the dream and spend those. And now back in the dream. Come home, good. What is it? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. This hasn't always been the music here, either, has it? I didn't think so. Farewell, good. May you find you. Yeah, in the waking world, huh? Oh man, I'm very low on blood vials. Is it worth it? Tell you what, let's go ahead. We've got chunks. So let's take a look at leveling up our weapon. Requires three for the very first level. Scaling, murky, so poison, 4.2. Well, nothing seems to really be competing. And then... This guy shouldn't have anything new to say, no. I buy one fire piece. Just pop back to Yahargul's chapel. All right, and from here, oh, that's a lot of ladies on the stairs. 
that's the way we came from. Um, excuse me? He reacted to me coming out here, didn't he? I didn't just imagine that. Let's, let's just tempt fate. What happens if I come over to you? Can't lock onto him. I don't think they care. I'm like an insignificant nothing. Oh, so clearly a one-way drop. Item right there. Item over there. And then... Also of note. Not chained to the chair. But another... Oh wait, is he? No? Not chained, but... Another... Oh, gotta go that way anyway. Another character with a cage on his head. Uh, very disturbing. Cold blood. Okay. Oh, man. Yep. It's like the entire starting area has just been upgraded to suddenly be level 50. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. This is not something I want to fight. Okay. Let's try to get some shelter from the rifle fire. Can't even kill it with a repost. Oh, okay, come on. And that does open. Oh, we're back here with a broken lantern for our trouble. Whew. Okay. Okay. Being super frenetic again. Uh, just... Everything we're doing in here has been crazy frenzied fast. But we've come back down to, like, areas we've already explored. Although... This clearly indicates they are now different. Alright, oh, and then there's another character back there. Let's see how this goes. Yep. <laughs> it goes about that well. Okay. Okay. This was an ambush. This was an ambush. Um. Alright. So they're all hunters. Or... Are you kidding me with how little damage that did? No way. There's also something glowing ahead that way. Alright. Not gonna keep following me. Oh my god. I do not want to fight three of those guys. Like... Getting off a parry barely dented them? What? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so drawn to that. Oh, those are horrifying. Oh, man. And this thing is... Oh, oh, it hurt. It hurt. What is going on out here? Uh, so we've got guys covering the rooftop, archway tops, whatever you want to call them.
Oh, this elevator is now here. Is this going to lead me back up to where I think it does? Hello, friend. Oh, uh, I don't... Okay, elevator shaft from earlier. Very first lantern's right up there. Okay. Oh, seriously. So that's a pretty decent shortcut to back over here. Um, also, I might be able to jump out right there. Oh my god. This is crazy. Just constantly respawning enemies. And I'm not finding those little bell ladies everywhere. Like, at, at first I was like, oh, yay, I can just kill them and it'll stop. But that I haven't seen any of them. What is this? I can't seem to affect it at all. And what are those? Oh, and behold, a pale blood sky. Yep. Oh, man. This whole place is terrifying now. If the kidnapper guys were gone from in there, are they gone from out here, too? They are. Have they been replaced with something? Something even worse? Doesn't seem to be anything down here. This is where those. Uh, what? Nope. 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 Okay. So low on blood vials to keep pushing forward. Like, that's the thing that is really hitting me here. Those guys down there, whatever the hell they are. Oh no, and that door is open now. That door was not open before. And it leads to something. Probably something horrific and nightmarish, you know? Just to, to be par for the course. Uh, also... We have got an item over here. Is that like on the dead horse? Oh, one of you. Bullets. All right, is that gonna mean that stuff stops respawning in this area? Because that would be great. Also, did this wagon just do that? Yeah, yeah it did, it wiggled. Oh God. <laughs> Why? 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 A chunk. Yep. This is what greed will get you. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I got two of them, even. That thing is horrifying. Okay. I don't think I want to deal with these guys. I think I want to head back to the lantern, to the safety of the hunter's dream. Oh, he has respawned. Perhaps he had done so before I killed the bell lady. All right, we're going to head back to the hunter's dream. We got to get stocked back up on healing vials at the very least before I try to make any sort of run at this area. Because five is not going to do it. Also, pretty concerned about the difficulty of not these enemies, the ones that are respawning constantly. You know, they feel challenging, but about right. But, like, the room with three hunters in it that were... Any one of them, I'm sure, would have been a very difficult challenge. And suddenly the game is expecting me to fight three of them at once. I just can't see how that goes well. We're also about to find out whether or not the bell enemies 
are going to keep respawning. Here's another example of one of the guys who has been shackled to a chair with one of those things on his head. Ugh. Okay. Let's go ahead and end this one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I... Pretty terrified, and I hope you are too. Uh, and that you enjoyed being terrified along with me. If you did, feel free to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.